My name is Alec Wiseman. I'm a skipper and part owner of the pelagic vessel King's Cross. Um, been a pelagic fisherman most of my life, working life at this. Um, been a skipper since I was 20, so it's a long time ago. I'm not going to tell you how long. <laughs> <laughs> Born and brought in a small village in northeast of Scotland. Everybody went to fishing, you know, the fathers, grandfathers. So it's basically a way of life. You couldn't wait to get away from school to get to the sea. And, you know, that basically the, most of the villages in this, this corner, you know, that's how they were brought up. The boats you see around us here are all sort of family owned businesses. It started, you know, generations ago. You know, 40, 50 years ago, it started with grandfathers and fathers, and it, the business has been built up. Everything's gone back into the business to what you see now. You know, all these vessels here are crewed by local guys, you know, so, you know, and, and all the factories that we're landing to here, you know, so we're employing quite a lot of people in this, uh, you know, in this area. It's a lot more comfortable than it used to be. You know, the accommodation and the living conditions in these boats are, are you know, a far cry from what they were when, when I started, you know. I started, you had 10 guys living in a very small cabin, eating in it, sleeping in it, smoking in it, you know, outside toilet, you know, small wooden vessels. The, the vessels we, we, we had, you know, even 20 years ago, you know, wouldn't have been suitable for the fisheries we do now. With these vessels in the winter time, you know, we're fishing so, uh, west of the Hebrides, west of Scotland, west of Ireland, in the worst time of year, January, February, you know, you know, it's, it's stormy seas. Well, the Marine Shields for Council logo for us is, uh, it's actually become quite important because, you know, a lot of our competitors are, uh, are using this certification and uh, if you want to be competitive in the marketplace then it's something that, uh, that, that you must have. The first fishery we got the credit was the North Sea Harry and prior to us having it the, the Dutch freezer trawlers they had it before us on the North Sea Harry so they were catching Harry which was accredited and we weren't so you can imagine in the marketplace you know, they're at the top end of the marketplace. So then, <laughs> when that happens, you want to be up there. So then the rest of us all went together and, and, and got the, the fresh fish fishery accredited too. So it's it's like, uh, if you want to be at the top end of the marketplace, yes, you need to have it. To tick all the boxes to get certified for this fishery, it was quite a long haul, you know? And, you know, you could, you, some of you could lose so quickly, but it's been a combined effort to get here has been the shore side as well, you know, so the practices we do now compared to what they were doing probably even 15 years ago, you know, if we were trying to get this certification 15 years ago, it wouldn't have been possible. So, you know, we're striving to, 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 to get, keep perfection and get that, and keep that, uh, the, the, the label. You're fishing to the, the advice that's been given by the scientists, the ICs in Copenhagen, the ICs scientists, they tell us how much fish we're allowed to take out of the fish rate. So, that's being uh, constantly looked at to see a fishery is being fished sustainably. The MSC certification, if you see that brand on the can or on the packet or whatever, wherever you see it, you can be rest assured that the, to get to that level, it's quite a long haul, you know, it's, it's, it's not only in the catching sector, it's in the processing, that, that fish has came from a sustainable source. I personally think the future is very good. If I didn't think that, I'd have been out of the game. Um, because we've got good management in the fisheries now, you know, in terms of the, the control of what's being landed and, and the, the time the vessels spend at sea with the whitefish sector also in the plant. There are problems out there, but I do think the future is good. So I would say that you're buying a quality product, so pay more for it. <laughs>